Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hope you're ready for a great weekend. Hope you'll join us for worship this weekend at one of our many services that we offer. And I hope we'll see you there as we're looking forward to celebrating Christ with you. Hey, what betrayal has hurt you the most? I mean, was it a spouse? Was it a child? Maybe a friend? Betrayal is real. And, And if you trust people, you will experience betrayal at some point in your life, uh, maybe many times over. Uh, The only way you're not going to get betrayed is if you never trust people, and that's a pathetic way to live. Uh, I mean, after all, Jesus trusted people, and he knew that Judas was going to betray him, and he still trusted Judas. Uh, Psalm 55 is a prayer in the midst of betrayal, and David is crushed. He's deeply hurt. Uh, Now, there's a lot of theories about who it was that betrayed him. Some people think it's Saul. After all, David was serving Saul faithfully, and Saul tried to kill him. Some people think it was his son Absalom when he revolted against David's rule and tried to take the throne and kill his father. Uh, And then some people think it's Ahitophel, who was uh, his counsel, his trusted friend, who was in his court offering him wisdom. And when Absalom revolted, Ahitophel went with Absalom. And, uh, and gave him advice on how to defeat his father. Now, thankfully, uh, God caused Absalom to listen to bad advice instead of to the good advice of David's trusted friend and counselor, uh, but that's how God works. So listen to these words of uh, just lament about the betrayal that David experienced. Uh, Psalm 55, verse 12 says, For it is not an enemy who taunts me, then I could bear it. It is not an adversary who deals insolently with me. Then I could hide from him. But it is you, a man, my equal, my companion, my familiar friend. We used to take sweet counsel together. Within God's house, we walked among the throng. Verse 20, my companion stretched out his hand against his friends. He violated his covenant. His speech was smooth as butter, yet war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Did you hear it? David is brokenhearted. He's angry. He's desperate. He actually prays for God to destroy those plotting against him. I mean, it's pretty brutal. But listen to the promise that David holds on to. Because if you're hurting, it's the promise for you. Verse 22, David says, Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Did you catch that? Cast your burden on the Lord. He will sustain you and he will set your feet firmly on a foundation so that you're not broken, you're not shattered, but you're going to be okay. So David didn't lose his trust in God. He held to his faith when his world fell apart. I mean, fell apart with the son, with his friends, it, he was, had to flee, he lost his pride, he lost his kingdom for a short season. But God redeemed his life. And even though God redeemed his life, the pain of the betrayal was real. So I pray that no matter what pain you're going through today, whether it's the pain of betrayal or the pain of depression or the pain of grief, whatever the pain is, I pray that you would trust God and wait for his redemption. I hope that blesses you. Have a great day.